Now, let's look at adding a web browser control for the address field to display the web page showing a map of the address for the current record on the form. Let's select the Customers form. To see the properties of the Customers form, it must be opened in the Layout view. Now, you need to link the Customers form to the Customers table. The Customers table will be the source for the records in the Customers form. You want to add a web browser control for the address field. You set the property of the web browser control according to your requirements. To display maps dynamically, depending on the value in the address field, the web browser control must be linked to the address field. You now specify the hyperlink and the parameters that define what is displayed on the form. You must specify the paths to access the required web page in the URL. You must set the language parameters to U.S. English. The address field must be linked to the location parameter so that the value in the address field is used to display the map. To view the results of adding the web browser control, you must go back to the form view. The form view shows a map of the address displayed in the address field of the current record. To view how the form changes dynamically, depending on the address field, go to the next record. The web browser control dynamically updates the form with the value stored in the address field. In this demonstration, you have seen how to add an application part to a table in a database and a web browser control to a form in the table.